Howdy y'all, and welcome to Black's Lives. I think it's time to play a little Infitech 2. Alright, so I've been playing for a while now. Uh, trying to get this implosion compressor done. But, uh, yeah, something weird has occurred. And I was pretty sure that I had made my input and output for this thing, but maybe I didn't. Uh, I need to put output bus for my implosion compressor. Uh, and instead I just had a couple of LV machine hulls, which didn't matter anyways because I totally didn't put a piece in the bottom here. I am not sure how I thought that was going to work. Uh, I've been making steel today <laughs> in my blast furnace because it's so much faster than the these guys up here. And uh, I've been trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to, uh, not that this guy, these guys haven't been producing some steel for me, but I've been trying to figure out how I was going to get oxygen in here. And I tried a couple of different things, and obviously one of them is a horrible, horrible way to get oxygen. Uh, and the other way here is pretty fast. Uh, so if we use... Uh, Use just some water in the electrolyzer. It produces hydrogen and oxygen in these cells. And then uh, it takes a thousand oxygen per steel. And you get a thousand per cell. So bam, 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 bam. Each one of those is basically steel. And so that works out greatly in my favor. Uh, I'm a little worried about whether or not this is going to work because I'm not sure if the muffler can be off the side here or if it has to be on top. If it has to be on top, I'm going to have to tear this thing open so I can get inside and poke a hole in the top. And um, that's going to be a little weird. I think I've got enough of these done here. Uh, I do just, just, I got one extra. All right, now what do I got to do to make hatches? That's a chest, right? One above, one below. Uh, let's use this. Um, I have a heat-proof machine casing because I added in the the uh, hatch. I don't want to make hatches. I want to make buses because I want to do. Okay, that should be an input bus, and then we'll do an output bus. There we go. Don't ask me why I just shoved some some machine frames in there, or some, uh, hat, um, blah, 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 blah. some, <laughs> what are these called? <laughs> LV machine hulls, that's what I put in there. Okay, and we'll put the input bus, the output bus. Oh, good, I think it worked. I think it worked. It looks all nice and good here. Uh, yes, all right. So now the next thing I got to do is I've got to make some duct tape. I've got to make glue. I'm pretty sure that's what goes into this duct tape. Here we go. Uh, I need three rubber sheets, three raw carbon mesh, and some glue in the assembler. Glue comes from, yeah, centrifuging... Hmm, that's new. Centrifuging sticky resin. Uh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. I think I have another assembling machine. I can leave the one I got there in place. Um, I saw it. It's a forming press. Where did I see that assembling machine today? Cutting LG energy. Blah blah blah. Nothing. Okay. Advanced assembling machine. There we go. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, you know what? I have got to go get some sticky resin. For that, though, I'm going to need you, tree tap. I haven't got any sticky resin forever. That's all right, though. I also think we're going to have to make some um, industrial TNT. We probably got a few things that I'm going to have to make today. That is probably plenty enough for what I want to do. I hope, anyways. Ooh, electrolyzer. You're an electrolyzer, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough room to carry anything, though. I've got too much crap in my inventory. As always. Here, why don't you guys hang out in here for now? And why don't you take this tank, and you can have my ingots and my redstone, and why don't you take plates, molds, machine frames, uh, I need that one, All right now, what I want is I want to do this, and then I need this in here. Okay, and then I'm going to give you this electrolyzer, right? Is that water going to throw me off? I mean, it might. Or is it centrifuge? Ah, it's a centrifuge. Uh, oh, the centrifuge? Oh, yeah. Centrifuge. It's okay. We just move this down. There we go. Oh, I need that sticky resin, please. Thank you. Sticky resin. That'll give me the glue. Uh, now for the carbon carbon fiber, I need ground up coal, right? So I need. Um, I better just look. It's been a while since I made it, so I probably shouldn't just throw in and be like, oh yeah, just uh, blah blah blah. It's for... Oh, look, I'm going to need the autoclave. Oh, wow. It takes weird stuff now. Did it always do this? I don't remember it needing... Lutidium? I don't even know what that is. Uh, Molten platinum? That was not a thing before. That's, that's horrible. 50% chance? What? Palladium. I've got some palladium, actually, so that wouldn't be too bad to get my hands on. So I need four carbon dust per two raw carbon fibers, and I need... So I need six. At least six dust. Okay, and then I need... Um, fluid extractor. Okay, yep. Uh, we can go ahead and put the autoclave right here then. And then palladium. I swear I saw some right there. Um, can you get it out of this? No, I don't think so. Probably gonna have to turn this into. into bars. Why aren't you switching? Can you not go in there? Hmm. Stop fighting with me. Yeah, I totally can't cook that in there. Alright. Fine, I won't. Uh, let's just hammer it down then into dust. I'll clean the dust, and then we'll see what we can do with it from there. Um, alright, now... So that's the palladium, that's for that. How did you do with getting glue? Alright, we got 700 glue, and I need 300 glue, so we're good there. Okay. 
I need three rubber sheets. Do I still have some rubber sheets left? Um, I do. Awesome. I should look to see if I have any carbon. I still have got two all the way carbon plates, but I don't see any just carbon. So, alright, we're the... Not going to do any good then. Uh, palladium... I probably actually have some of that already. Okay, can you do that? No, of course not. No, no, I need to know how to make it. Um, fluid extractor. Okay, so I've got to turn it into palladium bars first. Okay. Uh, no, no, I know, I know how to get it. I have some. I need to know how to cook it. Uh, looks like it's got to be cooked in a blast furnace, which gets me hot plating ingots, which then need to be cooled. Okay. Yep, yep. I can handle this. Let me get some uh, some daytime going. Got to keep those solar burners, burners, solar boilers cooking. Okay. Oh, man, you got a lot of oxygen there. I hope it doesn't just use up my oxygen on things that don't use oxygen. Um, how much do I need? I gotta do this three times. It says I need to mount one. <laughs> Seriously? One? Like... If I cook one bar of palladium... Uh, do you have... No, I'm gonna need a... high voltage battery... in my freezer. Because I've never taken the time to make another one. I don't know how long it takes to cook palladium. I can't recall the last time I used palladium. Waiting. Waiting. This is taking too long. I want to get into my implosion. Well, let's take a look at... Um, I'm going to need uh, a iridium... Oh, where you at, you little buggers? I need iridium plates, but I need, uh... I need the reinforced... this right here. Uh, so I need four advanced alloy, an industrial diamond, four iridium plates. Per iridium alloy ingots. Uh... Do we have... I think this is just gonna be a lot of plates. Uh, that's invar plate. That's not the right kind of plate. Nope. Oh man, I had a whole bunch of those made already. Dang it. I made some more stuff today because I was emptying chests. Uh, what am I looking for? I've already forgotten. Something to do with iridium... iridium... No, I'm looking for advanced alloy plates. I've got one. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well, I believe that is made from ten... Ooh, are you done with my thing? You are... It's hot. It's hot. It's going to burn me. Wow. You kind of took a long time there. Okay. Now, fluid extractor. No. It is not extracting the palladium I need. Okay, well, 
I need to take you out then. I need to take you out. I am going to need the palladium because obviously you're not strong enough. Are you strong enough? Yes. Okay, so now I have 144 palladium in here. Uh, so we're good there. Uh, I've got the glue I need in the assembly machine down here. Um, my coal dust is right here. Uh, what do I have to do with my coal dust to make this? I need carbon. Seems to me there's something I've got to... I've got to do with the coal dust. Uh, everything's black. I can't see it on this background. Where's your carbon fibers? This right here. Oh, oh, I need it in here for the autoclave. Okay. And it says I need four of it. And I made six. That's that's just simply not going to work. Um, let's try that again. Okay, uh, autoclave. Oh, yeah. And you probably want a battery. Hold on, let me get you a battery. Is that not what you, Oh, you know what? It's not coal dust, is it? It's carbon. I need carbon. Oh, it's carbon dust. Which you get from... Centrifuging ashes? No. Graphite dust? I think graphite dust is the way I normally get it. It's like a lot of stuff. Did you see all that stuff? Oh, you can get it from sugar. Oh, you can get oxygen from sugar, too. Crazy. Um, uh, nope. Dark ashes. Oh, I've been throwing that crap away. Hmm. Coal dust. There we go. Coal dust in the electrolyzer. E oops. I got turned wrong. Electrolyzer. I accidentally made some coal dust. I don't need it now. There we go. Make me some nice carbon dust. Thank you. Okay, let's try this again. Carbon dust. There we go. And it really does only use one... Pl this is This is just like... Let's find some way to make this annoying. Uh, Alright, let's go back to the duct tape. Duct. Tape. Okay, so it's three carbon mesh. And I have four carbon mesh. Raw, raw carbon mesh or carbon mesh? Yeah, I think it was just raw carbon mesh. Uh, with the rubber sheeting and the glue. There we go. We'll get some duct tape to throw on this implosion compressor. Nice. Okay. Bam. Duct taped. All fixed up nicely. Sweet. All right. Now, uh, yes, I need advanced alloy. Advanced alloy. Mixed metal ingot, which is iron, bronze, and tin. Correct. Okay. Uh, let's see. How much tin do we have? We got plenty of tin. How much bronze do we have? Bronze. Bronze. Okay, I've only got 22 bronze and iron. So the best we can hope for is 22. Let's go with 16, just because it's easier to separate things. And you never know when you might need some more. Aw, oh, dang it. You just see me just screw that right up. Boom, boom. This is where I need more than one bin basic bending machine. 
Okay, so while you're doing that, I also need... Um, okay, so 16 will get me 4. So I also need 16 iridium. Uh, where's my iridium? I know we got a bunch. Nope, that's manganese. Iridium, iridium, iridium. Where did I see my iridium earlier? Iridium? There we go. Ooh, I don't have a bunch. I got enough for now, though. This will get me... I need 16 plates of that. Oh, you know what? Then I'm going to need... Uh, oh, yeah, four diamonds. Dude, four. Can you count? Four. There you go. Okay, there's the iron plates. Okay. So this this actually goes into a lot of things. So this goes into the implosion compressor with industrial TNT. Oh, the industrial TNT is a totally different thing than I've ever done before. Wow. Oh, okay, I have chemical reactors, except this is like a big chemical reactor, right? 480. That's like, that's huge. I gotta make a big chemical reactor. I haven't made one of those. Jelly toline which apparently comes from toluene, toluene, which is distilled from heavy fuel. All right. That's a thing I haven't done yet either. Heavy fuel, cracked heavy fuel, cracked light fuel. Yeah, I got none of that. Uh, what about nitration mix? Nitration mix comes from nitric acid and sulfuric acid in the mixer. I don't have a mixer. Uh, nitric acid comes from water, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen. Nitrogen dioxide comes from oxygen. <laughs> no, wait. Nitrogen and oxygen gives me nitrog nitrogen dioxide in the chemical reactor. Okay. This is really complex. This is a lot of steps. This is why I need like an entire wall of chemical reactors at this point. Nitrogen cells. Uh, let's see. Just comes from the distillery with air with an integrated circuit of one. Okay, that's not bad then. I can get nitrogen. Um, pretty simple. I actually was using the distiller today to uh, get oxygen for my furnace, but it takes forever because the distiller is slow. Um, you know what I think is weird? Actually, I think it's dumb. Is, uh... Oh no, that's dumb. Dang it. Why you gotta be like that? Uh, I think it's dumb that... The distiller needs raw air? <laughs> to make oxygen? And I have to set up something to feed it raw air? It, you can't just suck in air from the outside? I find that weird. Okay, how are we doing down here? Uh, Alright, next do my bronze. Uh, yeah, and then you gotta compress that. Or you can bend it. I'm gonna run it through the bender. That seems faster. Whoa. Oh, yeah, no, there was just a... I'm like, what? I just got four plates, but yeah, no, that wasn't a real thing. Oh, man. I really... I'm gonna have to... I don't know. I'm gonna have to knock another hole out and build onto this place for all the chemical reactions that have to take place to get anything. I basically feel like I need to set up a... a chemical reaction storage area for all the... I can't believe how much charcoal this bugger has had going in it today. I turned that on when I started working on this about 40 minutes ago, and it still hasn't run through all the charcoal I have pumping in, apparently, from that diamond crate. It's getting there. It's just not all the way there. Diamond crate. Speaking of crates, uh, let's take a pop down here so you can see what I had to do today. Yeah, I had to upgrade these because some things were getting to the end. In fact, some things did make it to the end. I didn't know I had some diamond upgrades. I need to get the diamond upgrades down here for them. Uh, you can see stack limits of 16 versus the stack limits of 8. 16 times 2. 64 times 8. Yeah. Because some things you just have a lot of that you don't use, really. 
I should get rid of these. Let you guys hang out in there. Uh, this is the last thing I have to... Yeah. Well, we'll probably get our uh, advanced alloy going and uh, get the other thing made, but it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be an ordeal to get my hands on on the uh, <laughs> the industrial TNT necessary to use this thing. I wasn't expecting such a chemical process. I mean, I guess I should have assumed there'd be a huge chemical process for all this, like everything else, right? Because that's the way it goes. All right, so now we take 10 bronze and iron. We get mixed metal ingots. And they can go in here. <laughs> this is faster than my slow, slow steam compressor. Very slow steam compressor. Uh, well, that's going. Let's take a quick jaunt out. I can show you. Oop. Almost hurt myself there. I uh, I went ahead and cleaned these boxes out today. Oh, man, look at all the stuff that it's picked up today while I've been working here. Let's see what you got. Apparently, it's hit a mine. Uh, there is several things in here from a mine. We got some lignite coal. Uh, some nickel, zinc, silver, gold. Gold's good. Sulfur, iron, zinc, silver. Some redstone, some coal ore. Nice. That's uh, why this was set up here was for coal ore. I've gotten a bunch of coal ore now. Um, I don't remember exactly how far out here this thing is supposed to be going, but I know it comes out here pretty far. Uh, I want to say it's past this here so it's it's gonna take a while for this to run um, I would say it probably comes out to what right about here I would guess is where it uh, it runs to here and then uh, ooh, I'll bet it's right here it runs out to here and then this way Digging everything up. Weird. I don't remember doing that. It's weird. I you know what? I think I might remember doing that because I said I almost shot my shot my uh my base, and that would have sucked. One of these days, I'm going to get some extra seeds off of that so I can plant some more some more plants. Maybe I should go out looking for some. Alright, so there's our advanced alloys. And then we come back here. We do my 16 iridium plates. We do 16 advanced alloy. We do four diamonds. Was that not... Did I got backwards? I might have it backwards. Nope. I swear that was the recipe. Iridium plate. Oh, I need industrial diamonds. Oh, right, right. Oh, uh, yeah. Would you?
which is something totally different. Oh, man. Huh. I completely forgot about that. All right. All right. Well, uh, I was thinking it was just diamonds. I didn't actually look. So then I need... It's a good thing I just grabbed a bunch of coal. Um, oh, man. Seriously? Do you know how expensive it is for coal? It's eight. It's an entire stack of coal, right? Cobalt makes one of these, right? You need eight of these. That's a stack of coal right there. Stack of coal. Uh, to make this coal chunk for each of these industrial diamonds. Which could, apparently can be made with a powder barrel. Now see, that's what I was thinking we'd need. Um, but no, to do, to do this... To do this, we've got to use industrial TNT. Oh no, we can just use normal TNT. Oh, oh. Whoosh, whoosh. Okay, that's... We can even use the powder barrel. Oh, okay, that's... That's not so bad. I'm not going to have to go all crazy making industrial TNT. Um, yeah, okay. So, oh wait, you know what though? Before I before I say that out loud like that, which I already said it out loud, what do I got to do to make TNT? Uh, it's the same thing, right? Yeah, it's the same thing. Powder barrel though. I, I got the stuff to make those. Um, okay, so I need... Four stacks of coal. I do not have four. Why do I even need four? To st I don't know how many of these I need. Galactic craft. Uh, it was something to do here in the Galactic craft, and I needed iridium plates. Um, where's the recipe? Not the recipe. Where's the uh, crafting thing for this? Because I think that's what I was looking at was the NASA crafting bench. Hmm. It's got a funny shape. There it is. NASA workbench. Yeah, I need two iridium reinforced plates for that. Uh, that, I don't think uses one. HV robot arms. Advanced wafer, which needs a circuit fabricator. Uh, energy flow circuit. I don't know how to make any of this. Data control circuit. 4X aluminum cable. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what I was aiming for. So, now we've got the implosion compressor. I'm going to have to make some TNT. I'm going to have to, uh, I've got enough coal right here, actually. Um, so let me go ahead and get those two cooking. And uh, that'll give me enough coal, at least for those two dense iridium, iridium reinforced plates. Uh, so we only need two of those, so we're, we're doing all right. Um, but, uh, yeah... All right, with that, I am going to call it a day. Let's get back down here so we can see the implosion compressor. We get to use it today, but uh, it is constructed and ready to go for next time. So, All right, click like, like subscribe, sure, and catch the next one. I will talk to you later.